Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we are going to be asking Spirit, how do they feel? Okay, so how does the person on your mind feel about you at the moment? Uh, you know, what are the feelings, thoughts, whatever comes through, okay? Please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of this video, um, actually at the end of each section of this video, okay? All right, guys, so what we have today are three cards that were um, pulled from the Sacred Destiny deck, okay? This deck here, in case you want to see the imagery on the back, it's from this deck here. Okay, and for crystal number one, we have the red jasper crystal with the focus card. Okay, for crystal number two, we have the rose quartz crystal with the courage card. Okay, and for crystal number three, we have the green fluorite crystal with the going forward card. Okay, so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most. Um, if you're drawn to more than one, that is perfectly fine as well. Um, there could be messages for you in multiple readings, okay? These readings are timeless as well. Whenever you get into them is when the messages are meant for you from spirit, okay? All right, choose um, which resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the red jasper crystal... And the focus card, this will be your reading, okay? So immediately when I got this card out, I heard they're very focused on you, okay? They're watching you, if even only from afar. So if you're not with this person, they are still checking in on you, seeing how you're doing, um, you know, really seeing, um, you know, where your life is at, things like that, kind of keeping track of, you know, the goings on in your life is what I'm picking up there, okay? So we're going to use the Light Sears and Mystical Manga today for this reading. Let's see for Crystal. Ooh, King of Pentacles. So they feel you're very stable in yourself. You can take care of yourself. You're very, you could be successful. Um, you know, you could uh, have a dog also um, for some of you. Um, always keep in mind these are general readings, so specific details obviously will not resonate for everyone. Um, just take what fits with you and leave the rest behind. A lot of different messages come through. So this person feels that you're very stable, strong, able to take care of yourself. Hmm. So I feel like they look up to you. Let's see what else. For crystal number one, how does this person feel? For crystal number one, please. Ooh, we have five of swords, ten of swords. Oops. Okay, so there was some sort of a painful situation in possibly your life or this person's life. Uh, caused a lot of chaos and conflict. Uh, could be with you uh, or in the connection, okay? But there is an end in sight with this ten of swords. End of the pain. Hmm. So there could be uh, something happening or shifting in one of your lives that's allowing, you know, something to change here. A lot of conflict in the mind. So they could have been a f there could have been fears from this person in this person's mind. Um, I'm picking up some fear of um, loss and insecurities as well. Unworthiness. Mm, could be feeling like you're too good to be true with that King of Pentacles as well. Five of Swords, yeah. There's some sort of feeling of unworthiness coming through. Mm, death and Rebirth, something having to end for sure. Uh, I was already picking that up here. We're going to see what it is with the clarifiers. For Crystal number one, we're going to get the clarifiers out here. Uh, for Crystal number one, please... Ooh. 
For crystal number one, the King of Pentacles. Ooh, past life connection, possibly. So this person feels a very deep soul bond, a strong connection with you. There was an instant recognition. Hmm. For some of you, there was a deep uh, inner knowing here that came into this person. Like when you met them, they were kind of struck is what I'm feeling there. They kind of know, like they they sense that you are familiar. Yeah, it's like they feel like they know you already. Ten of Swords, End of the Pain. Mm, okay, so King of Wands. So there could have been a cycle here for someone. You or someone else. You or this person, right? Um, where they were choosing with passion, right? Kind of just going forward with our relationships. And then they end up kind of falling apart is what I'm feeling here. There was some sort of a... You know, like passionate desire, like quick moving. Yeah, it was some sort of a cycle for you or them. Okay, it could have been for them as well. Let's see, five of swords. I was definitely picking up some sort of like insecurity. Hmm. Yeah, loss. See, so it definitely is loss for some of you. They were kind of fearing that they'd lose you. They could, this person could have pulled away. They could have felt a lot. And they pulled away thinking maybe, this could be this person for some of you. They might have pulled away thinking like, is this the same as before, right? Where I went in too fast and things fell apart. They don't want to lose you. This person feared losing you. I definitely did pick that up there. Let's see. I want to get one more on the Five of Swords, please. What is this Five of Swords? There we go. Two of Swords. Mm, decisions. Yeah, see? They were going back and forth in their mind about it. They really didn't want to walk away is what I'm feeling. Self-sabotage. Okay. Yeah, self-sabotage. So they may have walked away from you, uh, not really wanting to, is what I'm picking up here. And um, they didn't want to because they feel very deeply, okay? They are feeling the connection very deeply. But there, there was some sort of fear that this was a repeating pattern, either for you or for them. Something about going in too quickly, passionate energy, uh, moving forward, things like that. Let's see, death here. Something had to end. Th this cycle, I definitely feel, had to end. We have two flipped over here. Nine of Cups, High Priestess. Yeah, and two of, there, there's that. They had an inner knowing about you. So what I'm feeling here is this person intuitively knew they had to kind of walk away at some point. Hmm. Yeah, in order to make your wishes come true. Hmm. They could have had something to end in their life. Or maybe they felt like they weren't ready or you weren't ready. Maybe it was moving way too quickly, you know, and they felt like, oh, this is a kind of a repeating pattern for this person or for them. Um, and they intuitively knew they had to kind of pull away. Like their intuition was, you know, kind of kicking them like, hey, yeah, you know, back it up. Back it up, buttercup, right? <laughs> um, mm, yeah, something about wish fulfillment, though. So the ending had to happen. Um, intuitively, someone knew. But the rebirth is wishes coming true. So this is a good outcome here is what I'm feeling. But I do feel like there was some sort of a conflict here in the mind as well. And I think that's why the intuition kicked in and, you know, helped this person make a decision to walk away. Uh, could have been because neither of you were ready for this type of situation, okay? Maybe um, definitely feeling like it was a soul, a soul bond here, okay? This is kind of um, a little bit giving me Twin Flame vibes here with these here, okay? And these, right? <laughs> Self-sabotage, pulling away, not sure what to do, fast moving, um, bubble love phase, you know? Um, it's almost like the passion and desire is off the charts. And you might think like, 
Is this real, right? I felt it too good to be true. Worthiness, yeah, see? So for some of you, uh, I feel like this could possibly be a twin flame. And of course, only you would know that. But I am getting that kind of vibe from the reading so far. Intuition again, yeah, see? Mm, both intuitive, yeah, very intuitive. So I feel like this card coming out as well kind of means that you both kind of intuitively knew something was different or something was special here. Mm, like this was your person, right? You kind of know. Yeah, there's definitely a deep inner knowing coming through. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. That flew out before I could even ask the question. I barely started to shuffle. So it's, it's, I feel like it's a very important message for someone because it flew out with urgency. Okay. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So if there is some sort of forward movement, just kind of relax through it. Let nature take its course. Don't rush. This person might want to go slow. This could have been them stuck in some sort of a pattern where they kept doing that, right? Getting in too quickly and then things falling apart. They don't want to make the same mistakes. They've learned their lesson, right? So maybe they want to just take it slow. So kind of just go with the flow of the connection, okay? Mm, step into your power, yeah. Know where your power lies, right? Patience, patience, okay? Where else does it lie? Within, right? Not in your mind. Within. Your power lies within. So tap into that intuition. Follow your guides, okay? Um, your guides won't steer you wrong. They'll help you on the path that you need to be on, you know? Life isn't always rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes we have to be apart from something in order to heal and grow, right? So if you are security if you are um away from this person just know that there's a reason for it you know security yeah so this person feels like this could be a very secure connection they do feel that okay doesn't mean that their mind thinks it <laughs> okay their mind might be thinking this is all passion lust fiery energy between us right but deep within, their intuition knows, okay? And they know deep within that this could be a good thing, right? They feel that it could be a good thing. But they might have, again, they might have run away at some point. But with the death card coming out here, I feel like that means that ending had to take place for these wishes to come true. These both came out together for a reason. I feel like that's kind of saying... That the death, the, the death, which was the ending, it had to happen. Intuitively, you both knew it had to happen. Um, even though you might not have accepted it in the moment, your intuition really was telling you it's okay, right? This coming out with it, the Nine of Cups, I feel like that's saying that the rebirth is happening here. Okay, so they're feeling like wanting to come forward, wanting to make this decision now, right? Um and come forward with some sort of a expression of love is what I'm getting. Really standing in their own power, being courageous and making that choice. Maybe that's why they're super focused on you too. Maybe they're trying to figure out if you've maybe moved on with your life or, you know, if your focus is somewhere else, meaning like on another person, right? Another relationship or something like that. Let's see what else for crystal number one. What's next in love? Ooh, earth magic. Bring in the magic to the 3D. Ah, so for some of you, yeah, you're connecting in 5D. Bring in the magic to the 3D. So that means manifesting it physically here on earth into your physical reality. It's going to feel magical. This connection is very magical. I feel like ma it is, there's something special about it here. Hmm, very nice. So this is about grounding it in, okay, here on earth, right? You may have a strong um, spiritual connection in the 5D, right? You might connect in the 5D, uh, could be experiencing telepathy as well, discernment. Yeah, didn't I say something about they want to make that choice, right? So they know it's a good choice. They feel it's a good choice. Their mind was overtaking them at some point, but I feel like maybe... Um, Again, with this Nine of Cups coming out, it kind of makes me feel like that rebirth is coming. 
So they might be shifting out of that negative mindset into the positive and making that choice to come toward you here. Let's see. How does crystal number one's person feel? So I feel like this is a lot about the action they want to take this reading, okay? It's a lot about the action that they they are feeling at this point in time is necessary. Crystal number one, how does their person feel? Clean it up. Yeah, so they are still working inner on, on the inner stuff is what I'm getting here. They may also be working on their outer world. Cleaning a garage. Cleaning a garage just came through. So that's pretty specific for someone. They could be cleaning out a garage. Maybe a space for your car or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, um, but they're definitely working, some some of you, uh, your person is working um, on the mind stuff, okay? They are cleaning it up. It is coming into, for, you know, into, um, I was going to say fruition. No, not fruition. The other word, balance. <laughs> balance, okay? They're starting to balance the, the energy within and calm that mind down, right? So, yeah, I do feel like this is them wanting... Them feeling the need to really quiet the mind to move this connection forward. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number one. How does their person feel? How do they feel? Woo, daughter romance. Ah, and it flew out like a rocket ship over there. Very quickly, urgent message, door to romance. So they want to romance you. They want to be with you. Um, this person does. Uh, card number 33 as well. Double number there. Master number 33 coming through. Um, so I'm noticing this cage here. Someone setting themselves free from something, right? Could be these limiting beliefs in their mind, right? Letting their heart... Oh. Letting their heart out. Oh, some of you, they closed their heart off as well. Um, to love. So they might have been hurt really badly in the past. And they kind of closed their heart down. They had walls up under lock and key. Wow. Wow. Someone was really guarded in the past. Could be, again, could be the same person with all of these negative thoughts going around. Or it could be someone altogether different. Someone was really closed down in the heart. I feel like you've opened this person's heart. Yeah, the key. It was under lock and key. Wow. It was like safeguarded. Okay, yeah, really, really, really close down to love at some point. How does this person feel? I feel like they're opening that gate, though. They're opening that door with that key and letting their heart come out here with the door to romance. They're wanting to show you that um, romantic side of them. Ooh, that one jumped out, too. Let's see. Oops. Ah, there is one who watches over you. So they're feeling guided by their angels. Yeah, they're definitely tapped in. This person's very spiritual, I feel, as well um, as you. Um, I feel like it's a very spiritual connection. And they do feel like they connect with people, um, you know, their ancestors. They, they connect with um, people that were important in their life that, you know, they gain wisdom from these people um through spirit right so wow that's pretty intense energy it's beautiful it's very calming i feel like this person kind of sits and kind of just relaxes and really connects um and gets some guidance okay from above very very nice energy there let's see what else how does this person feel for crystal number one Woo. Love makes all the difference. Yeah, love helps heal. Mm. So your love has really helped them to open their heart here is what I'm getting. They feel very uh, grateful for you um, for that. You broke them open. Mm. 
yeah they thought it was something other than it was you know they really maybe thought like i said they may have thought it was just an attraction you know and you've really opened them up to more is what's coming through there so they really feel it deeply the love that you share helped to you know free them from this cage Mm, that person could have been experiencing a lot of sleepless nights about it too. I'm noticing it looks like a kind of like a pillow in that little closet there. Could be like sleepless nights or something. Let's see what else. Loneliness. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, it was like they were caged up all alone. Their heart was lonely. Yeah, they're missing you. This person's missing you. They feel lonely without you. Your love is special. It's made them feel special. Very nice. Let's see what else for crystal number one. How does this person feel? For crystal number one, please. Watch your words. Yeah, so they're very careful with how they speak to you is what I'm getting here. Very respectful. Mm. So this is a very honorable and respectful person is what I'm getting here. Sorry, I was fighting with my deck. Oh, my dog is so funny. She's just like, <laughs> oh, never mind. Anyway, watch your words. So he, they are very careful with what they say to you. Um, they don't want to ever disrespect you is what I was getting here. They want to be um, gentle, kind. Yeah, very nice. They're very nice energy. This person has very nice energy. Whoever that is coming through there. And of course, remember, these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone, but um, there is a definitely a gentle, kind spirit coming through here. Wants to treat you with tenderness and care. Um, daughter romance wants to romance you definitely missing you mystic healer yeah see you've helped to heal look at where it's falling too right there on that love made the difference your love really did help to heal this person okay healing energy flows through you and to them okay i do feel like you've really helped to heal this person's heart I feel they're super grateful too. Like I keep getting that grateful um, message coming through. So they're very grateful for you as well. You and your love. Let's get one of these to finish out the reading here. For crystal number one. So I feel like this person is feeling it very deeply. They feel, they feel the soul bond. That one hit the floor. Okay, so healing hit the floor. Um, yeah, they definitely feel the soul bond, okay? Um, so they do have a deep love and care for you, and you have helped them to heal tremendously um, as well. They feel like you have really helped them to rise in their own power, right? Um, and they're stepping into it now. Remember here, step into their power. So they're stepping into that power that you've helped this person to realize was within them all along so this has been a this is a beautiful connection here is what i feel between you very kind gentle um respectful as well so all right crystal number one that is what your person is feeling right now um i really hope this reading was helpful as always please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading If you resonated with crystal number two, the Rose Quartz Crystal, and the Courage card, this will be your reading, okay? Crystal number two. So what I got for you here was this person is gaining the courage here to make some sort of a move, okay? That's what was coming through originally with the card. So let's see what comes through in the tarot for crystal number two. How does this person feel? So they're feeling courageous at this point in time to make some sort of a move let's see what the tarot says for crystal number two please how does this person feel yeah see next moves three of wands beautiful okay 
good start there. This is about taking the next steps, broadening the horizons, really opening up to more. Mm. And keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Yeah, perseverance. See, they're ready to push forward. Mm, wow, good energy. This is nice forward moving energy for this person. Good. So if you're coming from a place of stagnancy or something like that. Justice. Ooh. So yeah. Making some sort of a decision. Balanced approach. Taking a balanced approach. Making some sort of a decision. Hmm. Could be, yeah, could be a decision to do with something to do with the law as well. Or they could be in law enforcement. That's, I feel, pretty specific. So that could be for someone individually. Um, it could be in law enforcement. Something about making a choice. Could be about their work, maybe. Some sort of a decision there. Or it could be a life decision. Something to do with the law. Could be a divorce. Could be, oh, Okay, yeah, could be. <laughs> Two of Cups flew out as I was saying that. So, yeah, this is about coming uh, forward with a love offer here. This is a Soulmate Twin Flame Reunion card as well. Um, mm, Wow. Yeah, this could be... Um, yeah, that could be a divorce for some of you. Ooh, Queen of Cups on the bottom. Feeling like you're open and receptive to them. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So they feel like you're open and receptive to them. They're wanting to give you some sort of a love offer, this person. Okay. Yeah. It could be after an ending in their life, maybe a, a finalized divorce or something like that. Definitely broadening their horizons, taking a next step, persevering forward, having the courage to do so. Ooh. Yeah. Look at this. And they're, they're fantasizing about the future with you. Wow. Page of Cups. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah, there's a daydreamy type of energy coming through. They feel like this was faded. That could be for some of you with that soulmate twin flame thing. Yeah, if, if this is your soulmate or twin flame, they feel like it was faded. Mm, like this next step was inevitable. Wow, okay. N uh, Nine of Wands, persevering past. Wow, anxiety. Yeah, Nine of Swords. So they had a lot of anxiety. At some point in this connection, there was a lot of anxiety about this move, about this pushing forward, uh, you know, having trouble uh, with coming forward with their truth is what I'm feeling here. Something was really weighing heavily on their mind, sleepless nights about it, but now they're pushing forward through it, pushing past the anxiety, pushing past the fear. Wow, this is big. This person is a huge transformational energy I'm feeling here with this person. Let's see, Justice. Crystal number two's person. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yep, so it does have to do with love for some of you. They're falling in love with you, okay? So they there is some sort of an ending in love as well for this person. Because they're feeling this deep love for you. They're feeling this deep connection. Um, could it, Wow, look at the bottom. Are you kidding me? Two of Cups there too. Yeah, see, so, wow, yeah, this is pretty powerful. I do feel like this is about, for a lot of you, it's about Twin Flame uh, reunion here. They had to end something in their love life. Could have been, like I said, and this could be a relationship or, or a marriage, right? Divorce, possibly. Okay, separation, could have something to do with the law. This person could be in law enforcement came through as well. Um, but they're wanting to make some sort of change in their love life because they've fallen in love and want to follow their heart here. Two of cups, right? Two, two of cups. Wow. Big energy here for you. Crystal number two. And hey, yeah, you're crystal number two as well. Lots of twos coming through. All right, let's see. What is this? Two of cups, queen of cups. Queen of Wands, yeah, they're super fired up. They're passionate about you. You're very strong, confident, and magnetic as well, I'm hearing. Um, so you're really drawing this person's attention, okay, to you without even knowing it, I feel. You're just magnetizing them in. They're feeling that pull to you. 
Mm, wow, very strong energy. Whew. This is a strong, powerful connection here. Very strong, powerful connection. And someone, woo, someone gaining the courage to make change. Ooh, play. They want to have fun. <laughs> This person is feeling the need to have some fun, okay? Maybe in their life they haven't experienced fun in relationships, right? And they're really feeling that with you. They want to be playful and have a good time. Very nice. Hmm. This person loves you. So how do they feel? They love you very much. They're very passionate about you. And they're trying to get to you is what I'm feeling. Hmm. Daydreaming about the future here, okay? embrace nice okay so we have embrace they want to embrace you they want to hug you they want you close through each other you find the missing pieces yeah i'm telling you they feel like it's faded they feel like you're part of them mm. twin flame vibes there they feel like you're part of them wow yeah this is pretty powerful very very powerful love Two, two of cups, ace of cups, queen of wands. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and queen of cups. Yeah. Queen of wands and queen of cups. Spirit reminded me that she, they showed me the queen of cups on the bottom for a reason. There is a deep, powerful, unconditional love between you. Coming out with that two of cups, especially. It, the love goes both ways. Mm, very nice. How does this person feel for crystal number two? This is super nice energy. I really like it. Ooh. Okay, go wild, guys. Have fun. Enjoy, right? They want to go wild. They want to have so much fun, passion, desire. There's all kinds of fiery. This is fiery Leo energy as well. Um, could be a Leo, I'm hearing. So for some of you, you, you might be looking for a sign that this reading is for you. Uh, Leo is coming through there. Uh, definitely fiery, 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 passion, desire, magnetic. Whew. Seriously. Wow. Big time. Okay. Woo. That was fast. What do we have here? Gate. Ooh, you're right on the threshold too. Things are shifting and changing very quickly. You're right on the threshold of this change. Ooh, nice. Very nice energy for you, crystal number two. Gaining the courage to put, persevere forward. Take next steps. What do we got? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Okay. That's all I'm going to say here. Wow, it's going to be awesome. You are going to feel amazing. Hmm. A classical, classical music also coming through, too. Someone could play piano. Hmm. Someone could play piano, I just heard. Um, yeah, so someone could be a musician as well, but it's going to be awesome. You're going to feel amazing. Um, classical music coming through there as well. So someone interested in classical music or plays classical music. The piano. Let's see what else. So crystal number two, how does this person feel? So I think you make this person feel like on top of the world with that Grand Symphony card. And you really, they're very attracted to you. Extremely attracted to you. Let's see what else for crystal number two. How does this person feel? Contentment and peace. So you make them feel very calm and at peace. This is very good energy to have. Uh, peace is good, okay? Um, it's almost like required, I swear, in life, right? We just have to kind of go with the flow and be at peace with where we're at, right? I feel like you give that to this person. You make them feel content in the present moment. Very nice. This person really loves you. Mm, deep love here. Community. You might uh, work together for some of you, I just heard. Uh, could be a co-worker in the community. So you could be doing community projects or work together for some of you. Also noticing that it's card number eight, infinity symbol. Could be something to do with your purpose. 
working together toward your purpose here, okay? Um, or just something in the community. This could be volunteering, um, you know, helping at, you know, animal shelters. There's animals in this card as well. So something to do with that between you could be like a shared love, shared passion or mission. Yeah. Purpose. Yep. Okay. Let's see what else. Crystal number two. How does that person feel? How does crystal number two's person feel? Wow. Feisty. <laughs> I don't really know. That card just came out really feisty. So I'm thinking, Ooh, two cards came out feisty. Ooh, wow. Whew, I got goosebumps for you guys. Yeah. For some of you, I do feel like uh, you could be on the twin flame journey with the journey card here and happy family coming out together. I feel like this person does want to build and share with you uh, very much um, wanting it all. There's also this rainbow. I feel like you've given them hope. You're the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this journey has been long. Wow. There's a lot coming through. So there's been a long journey for some of you toward the light. Look at these um, little things here. There's one pointing forward and three pointing back. I feel like that's about leaving the past behind and moving forward mm, toward happiness. You know, happiness together. Beautiful energy. It could be skipping because, man, those cards came out very feisty. Okay, they could be like skipping along the path, <laughs> you know, like really happy to get there, you know, really happy to be able to move forward and, you know, leave that past behind. Very kind of lighthearted feeling there. Something with the ocean too here with this happy family. Something about the ocean. You might both love the ocean. Something. Mm, oh, infinity symbol again. Yeah, for some of you, I definitely feel like this could be a twin flame. Um, you know, your your one true love, right? Um, honor your holy days. So even when they're without you, they are starting to focus on themselves. Um, they feel like you do as well. They feel like you are very self-loving. Um, you take good care of yourself. You're really, um, you choose you, you know, you do what's best for you. They're starting to do the same as what I'm getting here with honor your holy days. So they're starting to kind of like follow your lead almost with self-love. Hmm. Definitely a nice card there about self-love. Self-love is so important. Um, we have to love ourselves first, you know. Let's see what else for crystal number two. Very nice energy. Calm, peaceful, and happy and excited and passionate at, at the same time. So there's a lot, a good balance here of energy coming through. Love and passion. Peace. Peace is really good. And again, there's this excitement too with this journey card. Hmm, focus on love. Nice. Yeah, so they are focused on their heart now. So they are feeling it very deeply, this, this connection, okay? They are focused on love. Um, look for the good in everyone. I feel like they're a very kind person and they try to find the good in every situation and every person, right? Um, just really connected. Hmm, very nice. And they are focused on love now. So they might have been focused on other things in the past. Okay, they could have been um, focused on work or another relationship or something like that. But I feel like now they're really focusing on what makes their own heart happy. Very nice. What else for crystal number two? How does this person feel? Impatience. So they are kind of like sick of waiting. They want to push forward. There could have been a long, oh, travel at the bottom. I don't know why that's standing out to me. I do feel like something about travel, something about the ocean. Maybe you're going to travel to the ocean. I don't know. Maybe they want to travel to the ocean with you because it really stood out to me at the bottom. 
Um, but impatience, yeah, so they are kind of, my life is unfolding in divine timing. So they do know all delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. I feel like that is a good message for someone here because I'm being called to read it. They are feeling a little bit impatient, um, but they do know that things are happening as they should. Okay, so they're not trying to push, push, force, or control anything, but they are, it's almost like... Um, anticipation energy okay they just can't wait you know it's like that excited skipping down the thing toward the light right skipping down the little path here toward the light they just want to get there is all it is you know they know they know that they have to kind of be patient they understand that is what I'm feeling there but they just kind of want it <laughs> like now they want to get there now they want to have fun they want to enjoy life okay travel yeah so something about travel coming through I I noticed it at the bottom and it really stood out to me. So I feel like there is some sort of travel in th the future with this person. Maybe you both love to travel. And the ocean keeps coming through as well. So maybe one of you lives on the coast near an ocean or something like that. Life is a mystery. Number eight again. Infinity symbol keeps coming through. Life is a mystery. Yeah. This is about embracing universal flow for me right now okay this is about embracing the flow of life it is a mystery and the uncertainty is okay you know it's you know into the unknown it's okay and everything will work out the way it should right just like the impatience card i am at the right place at the right time so i feel like that's like a surrendering to the divine yeah Ooh, distant thunder Mm, something about clearing the air, speaking a truth, right? Didn't I feel that here? Something about speaking a truth kind of landed, pointing right at it too. There's something here that might have been causing them anxiety that they're needing to speak a truth about. Okay, and I don't know what situation. It's not really pointing me in any direction as to what situation, but something that was causing anxiety... Okay, and there's a truth that needs to be spoken. So they are feeling the, the need to clear the air, either with you or with someone else. And it could come rather suddenly. This here uh, is reminding me of the tower card. Um, that lightning coming down um, here. Mountains too. Something about mountains. Um... But yeah, so they're wanting to clear the air with you or someone else. There, there's something that needs to be said. They're feeling the need to speak something there. Okay, and let's get one of these to finish out the reading. For crystal number two, how does this person feel? For crystal number two, please. How does this person feel? For crystal number two omens they've been seeing signs and synchronicities they do feel it's faded i want one more please they do feel it's faded they have been seeing signs synchronicities and omens to move forward in life okay definitely feeling that there can i get one more yeah thank you okay so happiness okay so happiness is what their their end goal is okay they just, I did kind of feel that with that journey card and happy family. They kind of just want to get on with it. And the impatience card, they kind of want to just get on with it and be happy. They are seeing signs and synchronicities pointing them right toward you here. Away from something that's no longer serving. Anxiety um, towards something better for them, okay? Which is happiness. Heart happiness, okay? full heart happiness right ace of cups i mean that's beautiful love overflowing okay so all right crystal number two that is what i have for you for today i really hope this reading was helpful as always please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number three the green fluorite crystal and the going forward card this will be a reading okay crystal number three so immediately with this card i feel like your person is feeling like they want to move forward in life here they want to walk down this path towards something more okay so this could be uh coming toward you if they they're not currently in your life let's see what the tarot 
for crystal number three, please. How does this person feel? So they're feeling like they want some sort of, yeah, forward movement, end of a painful cycle. So they're wanting to move past the pain and move forward. Yeah, okay, let's see what else. Whoa, two together. Ace of Pentacles, ooh, wow. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups, wow, big energy here. Okay, so this is about a new start in the physical world. Sorry, let me just put this deck down. <laughs> Um, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So they're wanting to start something new in the physical world here. And they could be feeling um, a past life type of connection with you. Okay. A soulmate or twin flame reunion here. They're feeling very deeply bonded to you in some way. Reminiscing on the past as well. So for some of you, what I'm feeling is this, there could have been some sort of pain in this connection. You might have been, this could be a past, um, keep in mind, these are general readings. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what fits, leave the rest behind. Okay. Um, but for some of you, I'm feeling that this person and you might have been in a relationship in the past. Okay. And they, maybe there was a painful ending of some sort, right? Um, Maybe someone, you know, walked away from the connection or whatever. Um, and now they're wanting to kind of leave that behind and move forward. So ending that painful cycle. Let's see. Let's get one more for before we get clarifiers here. For crystal number three, please. How does... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> we got three, I think. No. Two. Two. Okay. So we have... Knight of Cups and... Ooh, wow. Okay, so for some of you, I'm feeling there's definitely a romantic vibe coming through here. This person really wanting to romance you. Come forward with some sort of a love offer, okay? For some of you, it is about commitment. They're really wanting to commit to you, okay? So a, a very true offer here. Uh, the Hierophant is about you know, solid foundations, commitment, spiritual lessons, also a very spiritual card. So I am feeling like for some of you, it is a soul connection of some sort. Um, if it's a soulmate or twin flame, you would know, you know, um, especially a twin flame, uh, you would definitely know if this is your twin. Um, but this person really feels like they want to be with you forever is what I'm feeling here. This is a huge opportunity, a huge offer coming in as well. Mm. So, I mean, it might not be a proposal for everybody. Obviously, not everybody is at the same place in their journey. But for some of you, it could even be like a proposal here. Okay. Mm. Or even just, a, you know, a proposal of more than where you're at right now, right? Like say you, say there was a painful ending in the past and they've already come forward um, with some sort of an offer. Maybe they, you know, want to make it more exclusive, you know, really commit to you and the connection. Or if this is someone who isn't with you at this moment, they may just be coming in with some sort of a love offer to, you know, like a relationship or something like that, right? So it's a taking it to the next level type of energy there. And for some of you, like I said, oh, yeah, see? Mm. So for some of you, either you or this person was feeling kind of bound. It was a lot of mind stuff, though. You weren't stuck anywhere, but you were feeling stuck to something. Could have been um, self-limiting belief patterns within this person or you. Really kept this connection on still is what I'm feeling. That's what kind of caused this pain. It was like very um, fast and then very slow or stop, stagnant, stand still. Yeah. Because of this mind stuff that was going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I barely even shuffled an Ace of Pentacles son. Yeah, there was a lot of mind stuff going on. Okay, to continue what I was saying. Um, there was a lot of mind stuff going on in someone, either this person or you, that kind of put a stopper in the connection, okay? They were feeling bound to something. For some of you, they were feeling bound to something. So I feel like that's a physical person, place, or thing, something like that. But for some of you, I definitely am feeling it's a lot of mind, ego stuff. 
ace of pentacles sun so they really feel like you make them extremely happy inner child happiness they really want this new beginning mm. they're feeling really um i feel confident in this moving forward because of that going forward card the energy i got when it came through i feel like they feel very confident in this connection this love that they're feeling for you six of cups what is this about yeah the emperor mm -hmm. divine masculine yep okay so yeah there is a strong powerful love and this person has really risen in their own power healed themselves and they're in emperor energy now so now they're feeling confident that's kind of what i was feeling there they're feeling this confidence like they just know you know, they just know that this is the right thing for them. You make them extremely happy. This could have been a lot of self-doubt, self-sabotage in the past. Caused a lot of pain in the connection. Seven of Cups. Someone's making that emotional choice. Okay, so they're making a choice to come forward and commit to this connection. Very, very nice energy there sweet going forward forward moving love it okay let's see not standing still anymore mm. some of you it definitely was at a standstill that keeps coming through let's see what else for crystal number three please how does this person feel for crystal number three that one hit the floor okay so yeah had to get that that was it was kind of far away so it was this card here and it is soulmates. Yeah, so they definitely are feeling that deep soul bond, okay? Um, and, oh, at the bottom, connection to, yeah. So they're feeling a deep connection to you. They do feel it, okay? This strong soul connection. They do feel it very strongly. Um, within them, they they just know there's something within them. Uh, they, f you know, they just feel that deep connection you know to your soul and they've really healed with that emperor energy i feel like this person has overcome a lot whatever this situation is for some of you is a uh, overcoming a person place or thing and for some of you it was self-limiting belief type of thing okay all right so we have this card here beautiful card very pretty butterfly transformation yeah this definitely is very transformative reflection give each other some space at the moment sorry time and have uh i'm sorry trust and have faith that all will work out for the best okay so give each other some space to work through whatever it is if there's anything in either of your lives that you need to work through give each other some space it'll all work out things are shifting forward um so just have faith that it's going in the right direction okay let's see what else for crystal number three. Ooh, honor your feelings yeah so they're honoring your feelings this person really wants to love you right is what i'm feeling here they really want to honor what you deserve you know give you the love you deserve hmm very very nice energy this person really really cares about you deeply hmm let's see what else for crystal number three how does this person feel yeah opportunity what did i say oh there's another one under it too it looks like transformation yeah so opportunity transformation yeah this is the opportunity right to transform this connection is what i'm feeling this person sees it it's now the time is now okay and i definitely was picking that up with this butterfly here there is a transformation happening there is a, a shift forward movement okay uh, wanting to come forward with some sort of a commitment again it might just be like i said it might not be marriage it might be something like a committed relationship you know asking you to be their person um their boyfriend their girlfriend okay something like that right um, but taking it to a new level. Okay, let's see. What else for crystal number three? How does this person feel? Yeah, opening to discovery. You really are. They see unlimited possibilities with you is what I'm feeling. I thought it was more than one. Um, they see unlimited possibilities with you. Um, they really see a future here. 
okay? They want to explore, see new things. Maybe you you are an adventurer, <laughs> okay? For someone here, I'm getting like you, you like to go on like a, an adventure. You're very spontaneous. Mm, okay, so for some of you, you're very spontaneous. And they want to explore and do things and see new things with you. They feel like they could learn a lot from you. Hmm. Yeah. They feel like they could learn a lot. There's something to do with geography here. I don't know what that's all about, but that may resonate for someone. Geography? So travel. Someone likes to travel. Maybe you are a teacher or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, if it resonates for you, um, you'll know. <laughs> light. Okay, yeah. So you are a bright light to this person. Your light shines brightly. You have beautiful energy that this person is really drawn to. Okay, really, really drawn to your energy. You're very kind. Beautiful. Loving. Wow. This person thinks really highly of you. Um, you're very kind, loving, beautiful. Fork in the road. Yeah. So there's a decision, right? A decision to be made. This emotional choice, right? Do I or don't I? I feel like this person is definitely on the I do part <laughs> here. Okay. They're on the definitely I want to make this choice like now, right? They're wanting to come forward with something. Um, some sort of a tangible good offer, though, with this Ace of Pentacles here. This is something big, solid, okay? Let's see what else for crystal number three. Healer of the Ages, beautiful. So you really helped to heal this person. Um, again, I was feeling here there was a lot of maybe self-sabotage or self-limiting beliefs going on, okay? They might have had, you know bad relationships in the past and you know little things that you don't even think matter sometimes matter you know a, a simple act of kindness can matter yeah I feel like you broke open their heart here yeah like you really opened them up I'm also getting some sort of manifesting vibe here I think it's his stance he's like this and I feel like there's something about manifesting something physically with the hands hmm. yeah so using resources to manifest something as well so this person is trying to manifest this connection probably and maybe even more than that as well you know for the future hmm. planning you definitely there's some sort of plan um you definitely helped to open this person's heart. They might have been really closed off um, here at some point. And you really helped to break them open. Um, they realize they deserve more now. They don't want to miss this opportunity. Wow, there's so much coming through, Crystal number three. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. They, I feel like this person had an opportunity. That's why. And uh, that could be for whoever this was that I was feeling you had some sort of connection. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you and they don't want to miss it again. Is what I'm getting there. I don't know. It's just they're coming from all over the place. Every time I look at something, <laughs> something else is coming through. Lots of messages for you today, crystal number three. That's a good thing. Okay, let's see. What else for crystal number three? How do they feel? How does this person feel for crystal number three? How does this person feel? Oh, I thought it was coming out, but it didn't. How does this person feel for crystal number three? There we go. Yeah, your inner light. Man, your light. Whew. You shine brightly, crystal number three, okay? Um, this person is noticing. Your inner light will guide you. I feel like they're taking uh, pointers almost from you. Mm. Teaching, yeah, you could teach them a lot. Maybe that's, maybe it has something to do with light. You know, the, the way you carry yourself, the way you live your life, I don't know. Um, but your inner light really captivates this person. Um 
they're yeah they're drawn to it like a moth to flame hmm very beautiful um yeah they love you they they're they're very captivated by you very nice okay let's get more for crystal number three how does this person feel for crystal number three? Oh, we got two. Okay. Put those back. Ooh, we have simple acts of kindness and focus on love. So they are very focused on love now, okay? Um, they might have been focused on, again, a lot of fear, anxiety, things like that, ego stuff in the past. Now they're focused on their heart with focus on love and simple acts of kindness. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like this is someone who is very kind. Um, they think that you're very kind. You also could have a love for animals. All of these animals are kind of jumping out. There's a pair back here as well. Looks like fox, okay. Um, two fox foxes, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of animals here. So I feel like there's a love for animals between you. And you're both very kind hearted. Mm, very nice. I like this energy. Very, very nice energy that you both have. Let's see for crystal number three. Definitely feeling like, again, there's this deep soul bond. Yeah, love. Hmm. It's not about finding love. You are love itself, okay? So this person really tapped in very spiritual. I feel both of you are. You both realize that you are love, right? And you want to share it together here. Wow, very nice. Sweet. Love this energy. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number three. How does this person feel? So they love you very much, you know, um... They do realize that they are love and you are love, right? So they want to come together in love. Magic works through you and learn from the past. Yeah, see, they, they feel this is for those that they feel like they missed an opportunity. Okay, I definitely was coming through pretty strongly. They feel like they missed an opportunity and they're learning from it. You know, they're learning that they can't limit themselves. Okay magic works through them they can accomplish anything just like you can right they i feel like they're finally coming to this realization okay about it hmm with elephant i don't know if i i, I held them up but elephant spirit and scarab beetle spirit coming through as well um let's see i need one of these i'm sorry i'm always fighting with my cards all right, let, okay, I guess those are the two. I, I didn't think so, but ooh, nice, okay. Spirit says yes, so they are. So we got another two. We got a lot of cards that coming out two, two, two. So I feel like two, two, two could be important to you or um, that's about union coming together. Two people for me as a reader, not every reader, but me, <laughs> okay? Um, so everybody reads differently but yeah when that happens i kind of feel like that's two it's a couple you know couple of cards two 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 we got three in a row that two cards popped out uh so two 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 is also important here i feel in this reading okay so grounding go deep explore your roots and transformation a fresh new way of living emerges yeah so definitely more transformation energy big transformation happening here there's a big offer coming, okay? Moving it forward, grounding it in, going deep, exploring your roots. I feel with this card, this is um, this person really feeling the need to know you on a deeper level, um, really wanting to like explore your roots, you know, like where did you come from? Where did you grow up? You know, things like that. Like they want to see who you are, you know? In the physical world right if this is a twin flame connection maybe you connect in 5d but who are you in the physical world right here on earth hmm very nice okay let's get one more card here to finish out the reading at least one we'll see maybe oh look two of those too oh wait yeah that was the one i was talking about okay um but yeah so let's see what comes out here for crystal number three how does this person feel 
Ooh, crystal. Oh, it's only one. Ooh, marriage. Ah, I told you. We had the Hierophant. Definitely feel like for some of you, they, they just know that you're going to get married at some point. Okay. For some of you, there will be a proposal because that came through as well. For some of you, I feel like it could happen. And for others, it might just be a step up in a relationship. If it's a step up in relationship, I do feel like this person sees you as someone that they could marry. Okay. With the Hierophant coming through and marriage coming through again, I definitely feel like that's an indication that this person sees you as someone they could marry in the future. Okay. Even if it's not today or tomorrow in the future. All right. All right. Crystal number three. That is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.